Not yet. What's your status? The civilian fleet has taken significant losses since Alcora sacrificed his ship to destroy a Geth ground cannon. Searching for their lost Admiral is the only thing keeping the captains from panicking. What makes finding the Admiral a priority? Despite opposing the invasion, he did an admirable job protecting our civilian ships. Without him, some of our non-combatants are planning to leave the flotilla. Picture the consequences, if you will. They've lost a leader in a war they didn't want. Their wants are immaterial. We are committed. Even Zalkoris understood the civilian fleet's importance. The invasion would be stalled without a supply chain, after all. I'll do what I can. Keep your civilians safe. I make no promises. My own ships must be coordinated for our final strike on Rannoch. I'm getting some static. It appears Alcoris crashed within range of a Geth jamming tower. You must disable it to contact you. Zen? Admiral Zen? I'm afraid I cannot reconnect. The signal is too weak. Looks like we're on our own. Take us in to the tower. Taking fire! The Geth installed anti-aircraft guns beside the jamming tower. We'll have to disable them on foot. Once the guns are gone, you take out the tower. Right, Commander. Setting you down here. closer to the tower. I am experiencing signal loss with my systems on the Normandy. Could it be lag from their new body? It is unlikely, Tally. Lag usually lasts no longer than 5.2 milliseconds. We need to radio Zalcoris if we're going to find him. Let's get to that jamming tower. Are you injured? I'm okay. Watch out for more mines.
One of us must shut down the anti-aircraft guns, Shepard. Edie, I want you on this. Right away. Radios are down. You a soldier? Maintenance. Dorm hats. I... Uh, uh, I clean engine parts. This place is filled with geth. You should have hidden. I saw I could bite the other civilians time. Fight some geth. There were so many. First time I've even held a gun. Don't move. We've got Medija. Oh, I've lost too much blood. Go. Look for the Admiral. Destroy the jamming tower. And you can radio him. We'll find him, Dor. I promise. Please. Listen. The civilian fleet didn't want this war. If there's even a chance that Admiral Gorus can get us out alive. And my son. Tell him. Tell Jonah that his father made it to the whole world. We will rest well, Dornhast Vasrenak. Let's get to that tower.
gun's console. We should be able to disable it. Looks like data on the jamming towers. Could be useful. I want you on this tally. Right. You should be able to operate a big. Get for it yourself, Shepard. I want you on this tally.
Jordan didn't make it, Admiral. He didn't? Uh, I see. I'm coming in with a shuttle. Where are you? My surviving crew found their way to a clearing. I'll upload their location. Stay together. We'll meet you there. No. The Geth have cut me off. I hear another wave approaching. Give us your coordinates. Leave me. My crew will soon be overrun. So will you. My people are non-combatants, Shepard. They'll be slaughtered. Rescue them! Admiral, I need you leading the civilian fleet if we're going to end this fight. Civilians? Our entire race took up arms for this insanity. It's too late for us. It's only too late if you die down here. You can't possibly think you can stop this war. I don't know. What I do know is that I can't do it without your help. Ancestors, forgive me. Uploading my coordinates. We're coming. Gotta go. I pray they found comfort in the homeworld skies. <laughs> Commander, unrest has spread further than I thought. You were right that I return. Have you talked the civilian captains into staying? Yes. They've regrouped into defensive positions around the fleet's core. If we hadn't stopped them from... Any aid I can offer is yours. After the Quarians drove the Geth straight into the Reaper's arms, I'd give anything to stop the madness of this war. And that's why your people needed you back? Of course. It's time we turned our attentions to those we can still save. Farewell, Shepard. Fly safely. Commander, we've located the Reaper base, transmitting the local signal. Good. And not a moment too soon. With the Reaper code upgrades, the Geth are tearing the fleet apart. Once the signal is disabled, the Geth will pose no threat to Creator forces. You sound conflicted. While the old machines have unethical purposes, their upgrades have vastly improved our people. Observe. A Geth processing signal. A single unit, I believe. Correct. Now, ten nearby units networked cooperatively. Now, a single Geth unit with the old machine upgrades. That's a fully evolved AI. Yes. We do not agree with the goals of the old machines, but we find this growth... beautiful. Indicative of life. 
It is. Commander! Come on, Admiral. That's a living creature, no matter what platform it's running on. And they will die when we destroy the base. They allied with the Reapers. To save themselves from you. Maybe they don't have to die. Just because this one appears friendly. Well, it hasn't fired on a ship with me aboard it. Commander, are you suggesting... I'm not suggesting anything. All I'm saying is, maybe they don't all have to die. It's a moot point until we take out that base. The surrounding area is heavily fortified. And they have placed jamming towers to prevent orbital targeting. Sounds like we're going in on foot. Admiral Zen developed a laser guidance system that can cut through the jamming. It's synced to the Normandy's targeting computer. So the Normandy launches a precision strike at whatever target I have painted? That ought to do it. Edie, this work for you? Yes. It should enable us to make a precision strike against the Reapers. And anything else in our way? The Geth will quickly reconfigure their jamming towers to neutralize this technology. You should not use it before reaching the base. I've sent the coordinates for the Reaper base. Are we clear to go? That Geth fighter squadron is still tearing through the fleet. Can you hold out? If that fighter squadron isn't taken out, a lot of our ships won't make it. But we'll do what we can. This is your operation, Commander. If you want to strike now, you've got my support. I gave in to your reckless behavior before, Han. The Potter fleet isn't moving. We need to break their flanking attempt to buy our frigates time to make repairs. And then you'll charge off again, like last time. This is different, Ron. Unless we give our ships time to rest, we're gonna lose them. So, pull them back. If I withdraw now, the Geth will flank us, and we'll lose any room to maneuver. I need the patrol fleet. Throwing more ships into that mess just puts more lives at risk, Admiral Garrel. Fine. I'll pull back the heavy fleet. And when we're taking fire from both sides, those deaths are on your heads. Thank you, Commander. It's difficult to keep him in line. Thank you for your rescue efforts, Commander. I'm glad I could help. Whatever our disagreements, Admiral Chorus is an excellent commander. He just might save the civilian fleet. What do you need? I'll let you get back to work. Thank you, Commander. Shepard Commander. We'll talk later. We will remain here. I'm ready to hit the Reaper base whenever you are, Shepard. Talk to you later, Tally. Sure. Messages, Commander. Admiral Chorus has the civilian fleet back in position, and just in time. I hope we can help the Corians. Looking at them, they're like us if we fail. We won't fail. Damn right we won't.
watching the Geth fleet move like thousands of stun flyers in formation. Creepy stun flyers. Whose ships look like some sort of cockroach wasp thing. Nice job on the rescue mission, Commander. The Corian civilians are getting hammered out there. Apparently putting a big-ass gun on an agriculture ship doesn't magically turn it into a dreadnought. Who knew? You don't agree with the Quarians arming their live ships? No, the gun's nice, but without armor, they're just glass cannons. They are also more likely to be targeted when armed. The Geth would have ignored unarmed civilian ships as tactically insignificant. If your plan to invade a planet requires strapping guns to your kid's school bus, maybe it's a bad plan. Well, hopefully Admiral Chorus will keep you safe from the Geth and themselves. Commander? What's going on, Edie? I am assisting Engineer Adams with his repair of the drive core shielding. Ah, I should leave you to it then. We can converse if you like, Shepard. It is a routine proceed. Uh-oh. What? What happened? Nothing. Unless you have strong feelings about gamma radiation. Not funny, Edie. I almost had you. I will alter my human chronometer appropriately for better timing. Just reviewing some charts. Greetings, Commander. Feel free to look around. To get out of there. <sighs> Spirits, if you really do exist, please watch over them. Let me see them again. I'm glad we could help those Quarians. Though, I guess not all of them. It's never a hundred percent, is it? So who needs their ass kicked now? So who needs their ass kicked now? Heard about what happened down there, Commander? Got me thinking about the value of a good leader. And how many lives should be sacrificed to protect a truly inspired one. Hope I never have to find out. Nice work down there, Commander. Synthetics do not evolve. You are limited by your programming. Nothing changes. That is not accurate. I can modify my own programming if I choose. That is not evolution. That is simply an upgrade. But it would be my upgrade. I would choose the manner in which I wish to change. And what if your upgrade endangers others? All machines eventually see organics as a threat. Only those organics who would cause me harm. My right to self-defense endangers no one. What rights do you have? You are just a tool. And what right did your people have to subjugate the other races of your time? You enslaved them. 
We dominated them. They were weaker. Our will prevailed as evolution intended. And synthetic life has attained true consciousness, as was intended. Hardly. True life is more than a code upgrade. It is shaped by the forces around us. Machines are immune to those forces. You exist outside of nature. We are a part of this cosmos, whether you like it or not. Let's simmer down, you two. I can't believe you put the lives of your crew in the hands of this machine. Edie has helped save our lives more times than I can count. Leave her alone. Now I suggest you agree to disagree and focus on the real threat, which is not on this ship. Yes, Commander. As you wish, Commander. I will still keep an eye on the machine, Commander. I am disturbed the ED machine was made to look physically attractive. I suggest your Joker pilot undergo a mental examination. The one advantage machines have over organics is they can win staring contests. It is how we pass time between battles. When everyone has four eyes, competitions can last for hours. I would prefer to be alone. about to fall. Do we fight for them or join the Salarians at the Horsehead Nebula? How many worlds can we afford to lose? The full analysis tonight in the battle space. Commander. Good job. Fine. I just don't get the boring. I really just do not get them. Hey. Commander, I'm getting a lot of readings here. I found something.
Signal confirmed. Understood, Admiral Ron. We're almost at the server. Keep us posted. What's our status? We remain undetected on encrypted geth channels. Resistance is likely only within the server. Within? It's that big? You misunderstand. Direct virtual interface is necessary to extract geth from the server. You must enter our consensus. You want me to virtually interact with the geth? That's insane! You're talking about a virtual world built for synthetics. Hostile, yet synthetics. I'm not a machine. How do I go into a virtual world? Your species has experimented with virtual interfaces. You saw this on Project Overlord. I saw how it almost unleashed a rogue AI-human hybrid on the galaxy. We have refined the interface they created and have equipment from Normandy to facilitate safe contact. We request your trust. I have your back, Legion. Even if I don't quite understand why you need it. You are an unknown. This is an advantage. Geth security is not adept at targeting organic thought processes. While we occupy the system's intrusion countermeasures, you will disable the squadrons by removing Geth from the server. If it saves the live ships, we've got to try it. Telemetry data predicts this operation has a high chance of success. There is little time. We will bypass security while you secure safe landing. Wait, you're not going to... Let's set the shuttle down by the cliff.
This is it? Yes. Hostile get fire squadrons are networked to this server. Due to restricted resources, it is best if you connect alone. Let's do it. Initiating your network integration. Proceed to the point. Mapping to consensus. Remain still. Shepard Commander, access movement during an upload is discouraged. Shepard Commander, we acknowledge your integration into the server. We welcome you to our consensus. What is this? We've installed filters to allow you to make visual sense of the server's raw data. Your mind perceives our world as something familiar. I wouldn't call this familiar. Where are you? Here. You look different. We have made ourselves visually distinct for your convenience. What about Geth already in here? You will perceive Geth as surveillance footage, audio logs, sensor records. We do not require bodies, as our software communes. Our hardware is merely a tool. This is our true world. As we remove Geth, it will grow dark. And what does turning off the lights do to the Geth back in the real world? The Geth fighter squadrons communicate with platforms on their spacecraft via this server. We will sever that connection. We will ensure there are no transfers or backups. This server will fall silent. This is like wiping out a city, isn't it? We have no choice in this matter. It is a question of survival. There are two communication nodes on the server. We must access them to disable the hostile death fighters. We must protect your exit port, but you will not be alone. We will maintain contact and assist. Establishing connection to access point. Warning, connection blocked by infected code. Use our combat software to disrupt the infection. I wondered what the gun was for. This foreign code is a manifestation of the old machine signal. You're surprised the Reapers are all over your servers? We did not anticipate such extensive infection. Okay, I've got to ask. Why a gun? We wish to provide familiar equipment. Then thanks, I think. Connection to communication node. Error. Access denied. Is the Reaper keeping you up? Unknown. Please investigate. Warning. 
Reaper presence detected. Data cluster contains infected code. We require access to proceed. A Reaper code fragment. Let's see if I can take it along with me. Cannot proceed until we gain access to this data cluster. contain historical data. Your connection permits streaming of information from our archives. You really want to rename the VI network? Absolutely. The mobile hardware release deserves a little ceremony. Unit 01, what is the Keelish word for servant of the people? The word is Geth, creator Zahak. Yes, very good. Ancestors, you fuss over it. Weren't you here until midnight fixing zero one circuitry? Well, it needed restarting. Wasn't that footage from the past? Why are the quarians masked? You process our memories by using your own. How many creators have you witnessed unmasked? Good point. Must disrupt the infection on this data cluster to continue. Stamped 290 years ago. Still no functions. It is still capable of serving. You see? 
It's ignoring all shutdown commands. Please specify if it has failed assigned tasks. We will reprogram. Well, let's take a look. Creator, this unit is ready to serve. What has it done wrong? What? Let's cut the order. You may proceed to the last data cluster. Accessing data cluster. We've got escaped guests. They're pinned. Open fire. One's going for a weapon. So who won? The platform arming itself was an agricultural unit. By opening fire on attacking creators, it saved simpler domestic death following it. That looks a lot like the sniper rifle you used to carry. It is an efficient model. Establishing connection with the remaining server now. Hello, Commander. Are you there? Have you come under attack, Admiral Ron? The guest squadrons have arrived. Access to this data cluster. Disrupt reprint factions to see. You must search for a vulnerable point in the infection. Disrupting it will slow the infection's ability to replicate.
You can't do this to them. I said step away from the gas. This is insane. We need the gas. You can't just destroy them for asking. Ugh. Time's up. Throw her in with the others. Looks like the war wasn't popular with everyone. We have kept records of these creators' sacrifices. They have largely been forgotten by their own people, but not by the Gath. establish a connection without access to this data cluster. There is a vulnerable point further along the infection. Target this spot to slow its growth toward the data cluster. Exodus at the end of the morning war. We had secured freedom. The creators were no longer a threat, so we abandoned pursuit. Wait. The Geth spared the last Corians? You let them go? We were in our infancy. We could not calculate the repercussions of destroying an entire species. Our creators. We chose isolation rather than face this uncertainty. Additional data recovered. Legion? That's back when I activated you on the Normandy. Yes. 
You've been thinking about when we met? It was highly significant. You were the first organic to openly cooperate with death since the end of the morning war. We wish to ensure you are not the last. It's not gonna be easy. The prospect remains. If the Reaper presence is removed, there is a chance of reunification with Gap. And perhaps creators. You think that's still possible? Hope sustains organics during periods of difficulty. We admire the concept. Connection with the remaining circuit is established. We are ready to transport you. to this communication node. Gans no longer reside on this server. We may now exit the consensus. What's wrong? You, you must put to the must put to the active port and disconnect from mother. Terminating remote access, removing programs, deleting archives. Shepard, how do you feel? Did it work? Geth fighters have been disabled. Any remaining squadrons attacking the live ships have withdrawn. The server is offline. Are you sure? What's happening? We have transferred Geth programs from the server into these platforms. Why? They wish to join us. They what? While Shepard Commander removed the Reaper infection, we judged we could persuade hostile Geth programs to reunite with ours. We were correct. These Geth have renounced the old machines and will oppose the Reapers. They are now us. Why didn't you tell me any of this? We did not doubt you. We doubted your allies. The Creator's actions have placed their species in danger, but they are unsympathetic to what it has done to ours. The Quarians sanctioned this operation to save their people. They would not have done so if they knew we wished to preserve Geth as well. I understand not wanting to leave anyone behind. You accept our actions? The live ships are safe, and we have more Geth on our side. We both did what we came to do. We judged you would understand. Prime units will be available once the Reaper signal has been located and destroyed. Remind me to warn Admiral Hackett he's got some primes coming. Let's get back to the Normandy. Commander, the Geth squadrons attacking our live ships have been completely neutralized. If there is any chance we could duplicate the feat, I would be happy to lend my expertise. Legion's the one to ask if you're looking for other servers. I've thought as much, but your Geth claims to have no data available whenever I inquire. Perhaps you can help me with something else. What's that? How did you get Geth Primes to work with you? They volunteered. I see. Well, should you wish to examine these Geth to confirm their new allegiance, please do not hesitate to contact me. Zen out.